Hello and welcome to another of Phil's top tips for tech. Um, just a little collection of things that I'm going to put together to um, the little things I've noticed that um, people maybe aren't making use of that could be helpful. So you stream on Twitch um, and occasionally, since you've only got a single PC set up, even if you've got a dual PC set up, occasionally something happens. You um, you get disconnected due to your internet connection drop in or one of the PCs crash in and you, you come back and you've got to restart your stream and you've got to get people back in luckily there is an option to help with this what is it it's called twitch disconnect protection now this i'm not sure but this seems to be turned off by default on my account it certainly was turned off by default um i don't know if on new accounts it's on i've told other people about this and they've gone in and it was turned off so if you stream and you want this turned on uh, go to Twitch. Uh, it's probably easier to do it on a web browser, although maybe you can do it in the app. I'm not really sure. I haven't tried. Click your avatar, top right corner. Go down to create a dashboard where you go all the while. If you stream, you know your way around this dashboard. Um, and then you go to settings and stream. Disconnect protection right there. It's, um, if it's turned off, turn it on. If it's turned on, leave it on and just walk away. What does it do? Well, I'm sure you've seen this image on some people's streams at some point before. Um, you, you start your stream and go live and a notification goes out. And that's about 60 seconds later, often after you start. There's a limit to how many of these Twitch will send out. If you, for example, keep starting and stopping and starting and stopping your stream for whatever reason, due to technical problems or whatever, it won't spam out. Um, go live notifications all the time it would just annoy people and they'd probably then remove their notification so what normally happens when you uh, when you you're streaming and you lose internet connection or one of the computers crash uh, crashes um, your your stream goes down all your chatters leave you go live again if you've not been live that long which is probably the case if you're having a technical problem um, you're gonna go live and you're not gonna get a notification again so half of your chatters might come back you, you might lose half of them. In any case, it's it's bad to have to restart a stream. So with disconnect protection turned on, the minute you the, the the stream goes down without you clicking the stop button, which means a crash or or loss of internet connectivity, Twitch detects this and puts up this image for 90 seconds. It it sounds like quite a while, but it is actually just just right for what you need if you've got a, a a reasonably fast computer and a, and a solid state uh, storage drive uh, so you restart as long as disconnect protection is turned on you restart quickly uh, open up OBS start streaming again and it that image goes away and your image comes back you you haven't lost the stream the the chatters are still still there they've had something to look at all the while they've seen this image they know there's some kind of technical problem no need for a go live notification because as far as the viewer is concerned, it, it's pretty much an unbroken experience. The stream has at least kept going. They've not had to leave that and click on a and click on a new link. Now, that 90 seconds, as I say, Twitch has got that about right for you to restart and get back in. However, what if there's something you need to change? You think you had a crash because there's something you need to change before you go live again. You're not going to get it done in 90 seconds. At the end of 90 seconds of this of this being displayed stream's going to cut off and that's it then you've got to start all over again or your chatters are gone so what do you do best thing to do is um presumably since you're streaming you're going to have the twitch app on on your mobile phone so as soon as you realize there's a problem restart your computer quickly if it's if it's started up again quickly and you're ready to go live just do that and go live as quickly as possible um within the 90 seconds and then you've salvaged the stream it's kept it's kept going if for any reason you think you're not going to make that 90 seconds while your computer's restarting or you're doing whatever you're doing to it open the twitch app on your phone hit go live choose it'll ask uh, for permission to use your microphone and your camera and such and, and such and such so allow all those things then you're effectively using your phone as your webcam you're straight through your chat your chat should still be there you say hi just having a technical problem just sorting this whatever you want to say the stream has kept going they can see that you're there it's you know it's a it's a little it's a little event for people to watch so keep keep that going while you're while you're fixing whatever you're fixing with your computer 
However, the next bit is the most important part. When you want to change back over to your proper stream from your PC, do not hit stop streaming on the phone app. If you hit stop streaming, Twitch says, oh, okay, Twitch, the stream is over. The stream then goes down. So when you start streaming again on your PC, it's going to start a new one. What you need to do um, is to make it disconnect in a way it wasn't expecting. And the easiest way to do that on a, on a mobile phone is to turn the Wi-Fi off and turn the 3G off. And then you haven't ended the stream. Twitch will say, oh, okay, that stream was working and it's suddenly disconnected. You will then have another 90 seconds. Your disconnect protection goes up again. Um, so you disconnect your phone. Once you, your phone is disconnected and the uh, and this, this screen is up again, within seconds it should be hit start streaming again on on your OBS or Streamlabs or, or whatever it is you use. Uh, and it should then resume and uh, and you're back in. So you've effectively kept that stream going for as long as you need just through the use of your phone. But like I said, the, the main bit to that is do not stop streaming on the app. Just make the app disconnect by turning off Wi-Fi and, uh, and 3G, 4G or whatever, you, whatever you're using. Uh, and you've salvaged your stream. All your chatters are still in there. Um, and you've probably shown a lot of them um, a, a nice new little tip. If you do show a thousand of your viewers this nice little tip, please direct them to this video. Get them all to leave a like and a subscribe. And if it helps you, please leave a like and a subscribe. And um, I'll be thinking about my next top tech tip to bring to you next time. Thank you very much.